Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's Sachi. I've been sick for three weeks and basically bedridden for the entire time. Now I feel a little bit better. I'm gonna ease myself into sewing by doing something super easy and quick. And it's going to be a beanie hat. I hope it's going to be a quick and satisfying project. It's going to be perfect for Christmas gifts. So I'm going to copy the shape of this hat. I feel like it's a little bit tight, but it's overall pretty good. So my game plan is to have side seam here and ignore these seams. The original hat is knit in round without any seams at the sides, folded at the hem to make double layers, and seamed at the top inside. I need to have side seams, but I will use a folded edge for the hem. I made sure the stretchiest direction goes horizontally, and place the edge of the hat at the fold. Then cut around it, leaving about 3 quarters of an inch for half inch seam allowance and a little bit of added ease. I cut one more piece for the back in the same way. I thrifted this fabric so the edge wasn't straight, but the important thing here is to keep the grain of the fabric straight. Then open the pieces, place them on top of each other with right sides of fabric together. And sew around the pieces, leaving about 4 inches to flip it inside out later. Here I used half inch seam allowance. I left this part open for now and went ahead and pushed the lining part inside to try the hat on. Immediately I noticed that it was too tight. The overall look wasn't that bad but I wasn't sure if I liked how the top part looked. So I had to undo the entire seam to make the hat bigger. And I had to be very careful not to stretch and distort the fabric, so this took me quite some time. Then this time I sewed with quarter inch seam allowance. It became slightly bigger, but now the top part was really bothering me. I felt that it needed some shaping. So I decided to add some darts like the original hat. I thought I could get away with skipping the darts, but I guess they do add some necessary shaping to the hat. First I marked the center and drew the small darts similar to those in the original hat. I opened the seams just enough to sew the darts.
Once I sewed the both darts, I stitched the top area closed by overlapping the beginning and the end with the previous seam. Okay, now the shaping was more dimensional at the top, but side shaping bothered me a lot. To make the sides not stick out, I shaped off about a quarter inch on both sides. So this project took way longer than I expected, but this is the result. This is actually the second head. My first one came out to be a little bit too tight. I was making it for my daughter, but my daughter also complained that it was too tight. So I had to recut the whole thing again. And I had to recut the whole thing uh, about two inches bigger than the original hat. My first one took me way too long. I was working on it the whole day yesterday. But once I had the process figured out, it is literally the 15 minute project. So I made two more hats. One for my son, one for my daughter. I put some patches. I used rib knits. They are really stretchy, so I didn't have to make them bigger than the original hat. They are exactly the same size as the original hat I was copying from. So how much bigger you want to make really depends on the fabric you're using. If it's rib knit, you probably don't need to make it bigger. If you're using fleece fabric like this and less stretchy fabric, you want to add a couple inches just to be sure. You want to start with the bigger allowance so that you can make it smaller. You can always make it smaller but not bigger. So I suggest you make it bigger first and try it on. And also these darts are kind of crucial to make it look decent. For all these heads, I cut the darts afterwards. That method worked really well, so I would suggest using that method. And to close the opening inside, I used a ladder stitch for the fleece hat. For these, I just machine stitched it closed. I hope you get some idea of how to go about making these beanie hats. Thank you for sticking around to the end. I hope you enjoy sewing and have a great day. This is... I brought my super suit. It's Sup like a superhero. Superhero? Yeah. But how this one? This one is wow. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> I'm gonna wear this, mm. okay? Can I help you? Yeah.